Good morning. Welcome back into Morning Moments with Jesus. Thank you for being with us today. When you got up this morning, what was the first thoughts that ran through your mind? What were the first thoughts you had as you uh, awakened this morning and get ready for this day? It's a very important question because oftentimes the thoughts that we begin our day with usually direct our day in one path or another. The enemy of God lays a trap or what I call harmful patterns in our lives of concerning our thought process in our minds. And there are often things that we can't even control. And really we don't have any real stock in the outcome. And sometimes we do, but we just can't control the outcome of those situations. And that puts a burden upon us before we even get up out of bed and we begin to think about those things. And what it does, it keeps us bound or keeps us in a certain position in our lives, in our hearts, and in our minds to keep us from doing the things that God really wants us to be doing. And those are called harmful patterns, and we're addressing those today in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse number 7, when he says, Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. See, first of all, We've got to admit that we are often powerless to change what is happening in our bodies, in our family, even in the world. See, humility says, I can't, but I know God can. So this morning, take a few moments right now and tell God all the aspects of your life that you feel like you're incapable of changing. Begin to talk to the Lord about those thoughts that might be going through your mind right now that you are powerless to do anything about. And as you do, have a thankful spirit. Be thankful that you serve a miraculous God who knows what it means to have wayward children, if that's what you're going through this morning. He knows how to heal every disease, according to Psalm 103. and verse number 3, He can heal all our diseases and cleanse us from all iniquity. Take that to him this morning. He can extinguish any fire or calm any storm that is going on in your life today. As God invited you to do in this verse, cast your cares and your concerns at the foot of the cross this morning. Lay down everything that is troubling you and ask God to take over your mind and your heart as you choose to trust him. Ask God to lift the burden and the worry and replace it with a growing trust as you move forward this morning. Because moving forward is key. It's key as we refuse to remain stuck in a useless pattern of caring things that God only God can handle and only God can carry. Listen to Psalm 56 and verse number 3 this morning. What time I am afraid... I will trust in thee. Even after you have done this, you may feel tempted to run back to the same old patterns, the same old situations. But I encourage you this morning to ask yourself a question. Is my situation, is the things that I am most concerned about this morning, are they better off in my hands or in the hands of God? I think we both know the answer to that question this morning. So right now, I pray and speak a blessing over you that you would have the trust, you would have the courage, and you would have the discipline to turn those thoughts and those concerns right now over into the mighty hand of Jesus. Let him take them because he cares about you He cares about the big things. He cares about the small things. He cares about all things that concern you. Trust Him with your children this morning. Trust Him with your grandchildren this morning. Trust Him with your marriage. Trust Him with your finances. Trust Him with that job you're going to. Trust trust Him for the job you don't have yet. Trust Him with every facet of your life. And watch what God can do. Call on your memory this morning of all the times that you could not carry something 
but God carried it for you. And you are better off today because you finally trusted God with it. So I speak that over you this morning. Father, we lift up everything to you right now in the mighty and wonderful name of Jesus. We turn our concerns over to you. We, we turn our health situations over to you. We turn everything over to you this morning and fill our thoughts, Lord, with positive, peaceful, joyful solutions that can only come from you. Today, as always, I pray that you're safe, that you're strong, and that you know that you're blessed. And Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, I pray you have a great day. And I pray you learn how to lay down those harmful patterns that are in your life.